Hello guys, I hope you all are doing fine. Some time ago I made a tutorial about how to backup your iPhone on an external drive. This video was very successful and a lot of people are happy by using my method. In today's part 2 video I will show you how to restore your iPhone using your backup located on the external drive. Also I will help those of you who have issues with making a backup of their iPhones on an external drive. There are two main issues. The mobile folder doesn't exist or the terminal command is not working for you, not possible to create a link between your Mac and your external drive. I will also show you how to revert changes and delete the link between your mobile sync folder and your external drive if for some reason you no longer want to keep your backup on an external storage. And as a bonus I will give you some advice regarding purchasing the proper external drive to keep your backups. Stay until the end of this video and you will learn everything about backing up your iPhone on an external hard drive. But before starting the actual video I just want to make sure you hit that subscribe button and activate notifications for all my future videos. I would really appreciate your support. As always, without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. So as you remember, in the first part of this tutorial, we made a link between mobile sync folder on your Mac and your external drive. So when you are backing up your iPhone, the file is saved on an external drive and not on your Mac SSD to save space. But your computer still thinks that the backup is located in a mobile sync folder on your Mac. Unfortunately, by default, Apple is not allowing us to backup on an external drive. That's why we have to invent linking mobile sync to an external hard drive. I think Apple is doing that just to make more money, forcing us to purchase additional iCloud storage. So how to restore your iPhone from a backup located on an external hard drive? If you want to restore your iPhone from a backup previously saved on an external drive, simply find your iPhone in the Finder app and click on Restore a Backup button. Choose your latest backup, type the password and press the Restore button. Then simply wait for your iPhone to complete the restoration from its backup. Make sure your external drive containing backups is connected to your Mac, otherwise it will not find your backups. Case number 1. Mobile sync folder does not exist. This is a very common issue. Make sure to strictly follow my instructions from the part 1 video. Open Finder, then go, go to Folder, Users, your username, Library, application support and you'll find mobile sync. If you will go to the library following the path from the Macintosh HD, you will not find the mobile sync folder. As an alternative, you should go to your user folder in Finder, right click and choose show view options. Then check the show library folder because it may be hidden. This is the proper library where you will find the application support folder and the mobile sync. Then simply follow the instructions from the part 1 tutorial and everything will work just fine. Case number 2. Terminal command does not work. If the terminal command does not work, first of all make sure you typed it properly. Lowercase l n space hyphen s space. Then drag the backup folder from your external drive you just created on your external drive and then drag the mobile sync folder from your Mac and press enter. Make sure you previously deleted the backup folder inside the mobile sync on your Mac. Once you will make the link, the backup folder will reappear in the mobile sync. This folder will be linked to your external drive. Hope you got the idea. Also, make sure to give full disk access to the terminal app, because otherwise it will not work. Go to System Preferences, Security, Full Disk Access, or just type Full Disk Access and make sure the terminal app has Full Disk Access. If you don't see Terminal App on the list, just click on the little plus icon and add it. Now type again the command from the part 1 video and it will work. How to delete links between folders and revert changes. If for some reason you no longer want to keep the link between your mobile sync folder on your Mac and your external drive, follow these steps. To unlink folders you have two choices. Open the terminal utility and enter a line in the following format. rm space slash simlink location. Simlink location is the folder that has little arrow where you created link. You can drag and drop it in the terminal. 
If you aren't very comfortable with terminal commands, you can use the old good regular method. Right click the sim link you want to remove, folder with arrow link you created and select move to trash. Make sure to empty the trash bin and you're done. How to choose your external drive to save backups? If you don't have an external drive and you want to purchase one, there are no strict rules regarding the type or brand. You can purchase everything that will fit into your budget. Just make sure it has enough space. If you want to purchase the cheapest option, you can buy the old style spinning hard drive. These are very cheap and usually have a very large capacity, but they are less reliable in case of problems or shocks. As an alternative, you can purchase not expensive SSDs from Samsung. You'll find links under the description of this video. By purchasing from my links, you're helping my channel. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube. Bye-bye. Thank you.